Hello my darling YouTube fam, I hope you're well and dandy. My name is Rebecca and of course you are welcome to watch me. It always sounds so weird and this is why I want to talk to you about it. <laughs> Being more confident when you are filming. I'm just gonna give you some nuggets that I'm hoping will help you. So thank you for switching onto my channel today. Um, I hope you are keeping well and safe in these crazy whirly whirly squirly time okay i make mistakes all the time i make mistakes filming all the time i edit all of my videos so far i edit out quite a bit of ums and ahs and just staring although to be fair i do keep in a lot of those very strange snippets for those who are accustomed to my videos and you know i I understand that there are singers out there, there are people that I teach or, you know, not even necessarily students of mine, but not always, but you want to become a better singer, those who, who follow for that reason, or it's not even wanting to be a better singer, you might just want to upload something that you are passionate about because that's, that's who you are, that's what you want to show as well and that's fine as well, it can be so many there can be so many reasons why you want to upload youtube instagram um all that kind of stuff so i hopefully can help you just want to do those kind of intros outros or whatever it is whatever the passion that you have also it can differ from person to person and I have an inconvenient itch i do apologize or do i yes i have my green tea i've got my green tea that's a really weird high pitch voice but do you know what i still make mistakes as and as a human i kind of hope i would i mean the i ideally you learn from mistakes and you can move on growth learn growth learn but it's okay there's there's so many things involved when you are creating a video and when it's something like talking to your audience that are just so fabulous like mine i know I'm sucking up to you guys right now. Make the most of it. Realize that your videos, the first so many, may not be that great, which sounds mean again, but you know what? If you were to scroll back a couple of years ago, or so, three, you would see this kind of stuff that I was putting out there. Some was good, a lot of it was just really bad. And I'm okay with that because it is part of my growth, part of my journey. You know what I mean? So it's part of who I am. And I'm just thankful for where I am right now, you know? So just talking to you guys right now is always nice. And the fact I can just do these accents in front of you, you know? <laughs> yeah, realize you're gonna make mistakes and ideally learn from them. And if you don't, good luck. Being playful is so important and not to, well, unless you're going for that, like serious, that's fine. Then that's great. But I, I, I'm very much myself. And I know it kind of sounds cheesy, be yourself, but it's not, it's, it's really true because, you know, your audience will gravitate to who you are. And if people don't like you, that's fine. There's always going to be people who don't like you. But the idea is where you can playful with, with, with what you do and who you are. It's, it's better in the long run. And not to be afraid to showcase who you are because because that's who you are unless you're screaming and swearing in my face then great but do you know what some people might like that you know just get used to hearing yourself get used to hearing your voice maybe don't even start recording just it sounds a little bit weird see the mirror hello that's me great and just start talking to yourself you know <laughs> nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with it not take yourself so so just just have fun explore move your body at the same time stretch move your body stretch move your body and just be comfortable with who you are with what you're doing you know people know when you're sort of acting up or something does that make sense like the audience they're smart you know they will see through you i was I still think I'm sounding really scary. I don't mean to. Mm, sorry. It just, ta it takes so much courage. You know, I've been doing this, <laughs> I've been doing this 20 years. I haven't, I'm not, I haven't actually been doing this that long, I don't think, in the scheme of YouTube world. You know, there's something that just clicked to me and I just think, you have to go for it. You have to do your shizzle because 
You have to. <laughs> Doing a disservice to yourself, and that's not right, is it? No, it's not. Take your time, by the way. Um, I get incredibly excited and passionate, so it's very difficult for me to actually talk at this pace, at this level, but it is a lot better to do that so people can understand what you're saying. But really, I just, I get so excited, I just want to talk so much and then cram everything in, you know, whether it's teaching, whether it's, whether I've got an idea or a song and I just want to, 100 miles per hour. Ridiculous. Take your time, allow, you know, your breath, correct coordination, allow it to steer you, allow it to be a funnel, you know, allow it to ground you when you talk. And of course, breathing for when you sing is, is highly important. So just keep grounded by that, you know, and if you feel like you're getting nervous or stressed by it all, just chill for a minute, bro. You know, there's no rush to do this. It's taking your timing, enjoying the process. And it's wonderful to see you sort of transition and grow. You know, there's so many people, if you watch that, I mean, some people delete a lot of their videos. <laughs> I think I, actually, I think I need to. No, maybe, I don't know. I'm having that internal conversation. Do you ever do that? But at the same time, if I wanna talk fast or I wanna do this or I wanna do that, or you wanna do this and you wanna talk fast or you wanna talk incredibly slow or you want to, whatever it is, do it, you know, because that's who you are. And of course you can improve yourself in certain ways in front of the camera. Just see the camera as a friend and, you know, you don't have to upload things straight away. You could always upload to a friend and list it in YouTube or wherever you're doing it, um, or just send it straight into whatever format, you know? Don't worry so much about it. And like, I wouldn't say you need to worry too much about having the best microphone, having the best, set up around you there's always going to be the best 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 i mean they go into their thousands it's all ridiculous i mean it's amazing to have that i don't but work with what you have um and you can always improve it you know and and you can have them as goals even if you have your phone just use it and oh, the audio on phones are pretty good i can tell you mm -hmm. as long as you know if you're outside and it's windy and it's like <laughs> crazy you're not going to get the best audio are you so you need to think about that location.com. This might sound shallow and I don't care and I'm okay with that, but what you wear does matter if you feel comfortable, that's good. I'm doing that slow thing I was saying, like you need to talk slow. At the sound of the beat. <laughs> For me, like I love to be comfortable. So it's really important that when I film, I want to feel like a glamorous star. You know, you know what I mean? Like. I don't always have to cake on makeup. I don't always have to do my hair. Clearly, I haven't today. I mean, it's it's always nice to dress up for the occasion. And sometimes I think, you know what? I'm gonna wear something fancy today. But most of the time, I just think, do you know what? This jumper, for example, it's so nice and comfortable. Therefore, I'm not gonna be like itching or, you know, out of place or something like that, where my mind would be then taken away thinking, oh, I hope I look all right. Or too, too much awareness or stress you know, you want to limit the stress on all areas um, before filming, you know, because that's really important. <laughs> but you know, a lot of the times, I mean, look at these. They are magical, aren't they? They're my leggings because, you know, a lot of the time I might just want to go into a full on stretch. I want to do my weightlifting. I want to do whatever, you know. Um, so for me, I don't need to be wearing a pretty dress here, although I have done in the past, you know not wearing tracksuit bottoms every time, let me tell you that much, darlings, but they're so comfortable, aren't they? They just love being comfortable. And comfortable doesn't mean dowdy, you know, you can, but whatever, this is entirely up to you. How how you feel comfortable in front of the camera is 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 so important. So it's, it's you know, some people might feel comfortable wearing a bikini, you know, that's great for you. Not so much for me. I probably would be too self-conscious, like, oh no, the angle's like that, would it be like, you know, then your brain's just like not where it needs to be. <laughs> passion, like whatever you are talking about or singing about, have passion for the audience, you know, like I can't think of anything, like I have so many passions and obviously singing and coaching and writing are right up there, like really, really high. I, I just, I, I love, as you probably know, accents and voices and how we manipulate and 
what we what we can do and infuse with our how we react with our bodies and what we can create and how much of a miracle it is and how how amazing see i'm doing it i just i love it so much and to have that ability to express who we are where actually i find myself i'm so much more comfortable i think <laughs> singing than talking although i literally could talk all day I talk a lot. I literally love talking. I feel like this is just like heaven right now or I can just unleash. I'm so sorry. You're probably, I'm hoping you're still here, you know, but I get a hell of a lot of comments like you talk too much and I, I can't invest my energy into that kind of negativity because it would drain me. But all I want to say is watch the original video. For example, if it's a react, I don't understand what that means i don't because i could get good really good with expressions and then just say nothing but my gosh sorry that's like a side note i'm not going to say what i don't want to spoil it but i've got something coming up with that as well get to smile i mean it uh, you know you don't want to feel like someone's like get on that camera now and, and talk right now right now it's really important that you press the record button and record yourself all right I don't know why I went a little bit cockney then, didn't I? Well, hopefully no one's forcing you. Call the police, my darlings, call the police. But, you know, relax, chill, my bros. Too relaxed. Talk as if the camera is your friend and there are friends behind there. Create your YouTube fam and, and, you know, most of them are rooting for you. You know, I'm hoping that they are doing that for you. And when you grow your beautiful audience, that it's okay to have bad days also. I do find though, if I am having a certain bad day, it's probably not a good idea to film. And you can't be expected to have this level of, you know, hi everyone, hi everyone, hi everyone, all the time and keep up to that level because it's it's physically impossible. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's okay to take breaks and when you feel 100% or close to that percentage, then feel free to bask in the glories of the video. You know, like you don't need to, you don't need to worry, you know. Or if I'm really tired or something, just been singing all day. No, <laughs> then it's probably best if I don't film. Anyway, lots of reasons why you may not want to film at that on that particular day, but you know when you feel there's a, uh, your, Vibrancy levels are good. Like you're ready to take on the universe and uh, it's always a good time to, you know, press record and see how it goes. You know what I mean? Sorry, I literally just wanted to do that accent right then. So anyway, there's a few things that can help you. So passion is number one. Get used to your camera, play around with it. Don't fear, don't fear. Love who you are, love yourself and others will love you. Not always, that's okay as well. We like those people. They generally just need hugs a lot of the time. Do you know what I mean? YouTube hug. Here you go. I was thinking, wondering if you wanted one. See it as a playground. Be playful, you know? And just remember, it takes time. It takes time. You're doing so many different elements to your recording. I mean, or you're not. You're, you know, paying someone to do it. But a lot of the time when you're starting out, you're, you're doing everything. So don't be so hard on yourself. And don't forget to smile. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. You are beautiful and unique. Stay that way. Good. I always feel so bossy, but I think some of you like that. Okay, uh, <laughs> and I don't have all the answers. I don't honestly have the answers. I don't claim to have the answers, but you know, know that you are lovable and wonderful and it's okay to not be okay, especially in these times. It's really, plucked up let's say i don't want to swear isn't it it's all it's all very strange and you know definitely a time to reevaluate to to take a breather don't feel like you're gonna be on it all the time you know like it's stressful not all of it but you know what i mean like give yourself a hug mm. now chill and and you're amazing so keep up with it all okay lots of love i hope it helped okay bye <laughs> Hello my darling, 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 darlings. My name is Rebecca and I am here to talk with you right now, right this minute, about becoming, being more confident in front of your camera. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do.